Hello everybody, it's Tony at Dive Tech and Grand Cayman. Today we're going to talk about calibrating your rebreather electronics. In this demonstration, we're using a KISS Orca Spirit rebreather, but this procedure will work on any rebreather that's utilizing Shearwater electronics. Calibration is simply telling the dive computer what oxygen looks like. Once the computer knows what oxygen looks like, it can then interpret the data that the sensors are providing it and tell us the composition of the loop at any given time. The most important step though is calibrating it accurately and the first step in that is doing a pure oxygen flush in our breathing loop. To do an oxygen flush for calibration requires that we flush the loop three times with oxygen. Many times I see people using poor technique or incorrect technique to do their oxygen flush and what can happen is they can get exhaled gas in the breathing loop. Exhaled gas in the breathing loop will contaminate your initial calibration and if that happens it will affect all of your readings from that point on. Anything that the dive computer tells you will not be accurate. So it's really important to make sure we do that calibration flush correctly. The procedure to do a calibration flush is pretty simple. What we're going to do is flood the loop with oxygen, evacuate it, and then repeat that process two more times. That helps us ensure that we have a pure oxygen environment for our calibration. After we've done this and we've calibrated our dive computer, we're going to do a check against a known gas to make sure that we've done it correctly. The technique I teach is for the student to put the DSV in their mouth, begin inhaling, then open the DSV while inhaling. Before the student has reached their maximum lung capacity and they're still inhaling, shut the DSV and then finish their exhalation. That technique ensures that no accidental exhaled gas gets inadvertently put back into the breathing loop. So we're filling the loop with oxygen. Okay, now I'm gonna fill it up one more time, but not all the way this time. And I'm gonna look at my display. What I need to do is access the calibration menu by left button push twice, once, twice, and I'm in the calibrate section, and I confirm with a right push. Now this here gives me my millivolt readings for all my sensors, and this tells me what the fraction of oxygen is that I'm calibrating to. We always use 0.98 because it's impossible or impractical to get pure, pure oxygen in this loop. And then once I'm satisfied with these numbers, I'm gonna right push to calibrate, and it's gonna come up with a calibration report, which I will then confirm with one more right button push. Okay, so I've done my oxygen flush, and I've calibrated to what I think is pure oxygen in here. But how do we know for sure I didn't make a mistake in my calibration or my oxygen flush? We want to do a validation at this point, and we want to validate with a known gas. So the known gas that I can think of that never changes is the ambient atmosphere. So what we should be able to do is expose the head to ambient air, and then the readings on here will go, hopefully, to 0.21. Let's try it. Okay, I've got my sensor pod exposed to ambient air, and all three sensors are reading 0.21. That's telling me that I've done my calibration correctly. So remember, anytime you calibrate, you want to calibrate against two known gases. We're going to calibrate against our oxygen, and then we're going to verify that we've done it correctly against the ambient air. That ensures that we have the most accurate calibration possible. Thanks for watching, guys. We hope to see you diving with us down here soon.